hi everyone welcome back now that we have completed regression now is the best time to know about what are parameters and what are hyperparameters then we will look into some of the ways by which we can tune our hyperparameters which will actually help us get better results okay so before starting out in the different ways we can tune our hyperparameter let's know a bit about what are parameters and what are hyperparameters what are parameters first of all a uh, model parameter is uh, a variable of the selected model which we cannot manually select okay but it can be estimated by fitting given data to the model uh, basically we have our uh, slope that is m while, while we were uh, fitting our regression model linear regression model we found it out that uh, we have m we have our uh intercept that is a uh, slope okay slope of the line so these are something which are the model parameters whereas model hyperparameters are the parameter whose value is set before the model starts okay uh before the model training actually starts it cannot be learned by fitting the model to the data what i mean by is the difference between both of them are the parameters they are required for making predictions okay and hyperparameter they are required for estimating the model parameters okay uh, we have hyperparameters like the learning rate in gradient descent uh, then we had the number of iterations in gradient descent number of uh, if you are going when we will be going to neural networks we will be looking into the number of layers number of neurons per layer number of clusters in k means clustering algorithm all of these are hyperparameters that we can manually set and these are required to estim uh, for estimating the model parameters whereas the parameters are required for making the predictions okay we the parameters we cannot set it manually but we hyperparameters are set manually parameters are estimated by optimization algorithm like gradient descent we have the adam optimizer where hyperparameters are completely tuned up so uh that's a brief description about parameters and hyperparameters parameters we have m intercept uh, okay c intercept all of these are parameter hyperparameters are learning rate uh, number of neurons in a layer number of clusters all of these can be tuned up so these were this was a basic difference between parameters and hyperparameters hyperparameters tuning the hyperparameter is really important it eventually gives us a better fit a better model Okay. If you have a, a bad choice of uh, hyperparameter, it will really give us very bad value. So that's the sole reason that uh, we need uh, proper choices of hyperparameters. Okay. So mm, let's uh, look into the different ways how we can tune our hyperparameter. The first way is our grid search. So a grid search, it's one of the simplest algorithms for hyperparameter tuning. Basically, what we do is we divide the domain of hyperparameters into discrete grid, and we try each and every combination of the values of the grid, calculating uh, some performance matrix using the cross validation. The point of grid. that maximizes the average value in the cross value uh, validation okay that is the optimal combination of values for the hyperparameters what i mean by this is let's say what eventually we do is we have mm, learning rate let's say uh, we give the learning rate lr rate uh, some unique values 0.02 0.04 0.08 Okay, three values, and then uh, we might give some other values. Number k folds. What are the number of uh, max trees or k folds? Okay, okay. we give uh, or let's say n estimators. Okay, we have n estimators. Okay, and in n estimator we might give hundred, two hundred, ninety five. basically what our grid search will do it will create uh, a model for each and every combination okay and then 
compare out the results and then we will get the best learning rate out of this three and the best learning uh, an estimator out of these three so that's what grid search is used for so we have a grid of values and using all the combination we get the best values out of it. that is the best hyperparameters out of it the next way is random search random search from the name itself you can just analyze what it means okay random search is quite similar to grid search but instead of using all the points in grid what we do is we randomly select values okay from a subset of these points the smaller the subset the faster but less accurate the optimization get so there's always a trade off in uh, machine learning so what we do is we have a grid of values let's say we have a grid of we have this grid of values and eventually what we, when there's a grid search we will be using each and every value to check which uh, value gives us the best uh, result but in random search what we do is we randomly select a uh, few points which we are going to use to predict our model and we just get out whichever is predicting the best so the smaller the subset the faster but the less accurate the optimization will get the larger the data set the most the more accurate the optimization but closer to the grid search okay it's uh, it might not get much accurate to grid search but uh, because we are looking into each and every combination over there but random search is uh, very much faster than grid search okay now that we have known about random search and grid search and why eventually need, we need hyperparameters okay uh, now let's look into uh, some hands on view into how to execute random search and grid search also we will compare out our initial value and then uh, what we the results that we get after we have applied grid search or random search okay so let's jump into our next video